So, okay, so guys, actually, uh, for this exhibit, uh, actually, QNAP is uh, really glad to show you actually our brand new uh, innovative feature. It's what we call as a virtualization station. The, the reason for us to release this new feature is that we find out that so many users all have the VMware and they are all obsessed with the benefit of the VMware. Uh, however, actually, they are not willing to pay so much money for the VMware in their own real environment. So with this, actually, QNAP release the, uh, the new uh, features is what we call as a virtualization station. So it's like the users own uh, the vir vir virtualization uh, platform for free. So actually now they can install actually more OS uh, on the QNAM NAS, but not only uh, to use it as their own uh, data storage. So now they can install like on uh, the Windows uh, storage server uh, 2012 or even the Windows 7 or the Windows 8 and even they can install like on uh, the Linux or the Mac OS uh, on single uh, QNAM NAS. So now I would like to uh, let my colleague to demo all of the de de detailed features of these uh, functions of QNAM NAS. Yeah. Okay. So uh, as you can see we have uh, uh, NAS uh, running on four virtual machines uh, two are Windows uh, virtual machines and uh, these two are uh, Linux virtual machines. Uh, our uh, virtualization station can support uh, the web interface to manage and also see the console of uh, the virtual machine. So just like here, you can see we can have uh, very smooth operations for the virtual machines and also just like your uh, desktop and for some uh, operations even quicker than the uh, desktop. And uh, this uh, console is based on HTML5 technology. That means you uh, can see the window not only on the uh, laptop, and uh, also you can see on your uh, smartphone, your iPad through a 3G network. So by using our uh, technology, we can also reduce the uh, frame rate and also reduce the color to fit a 3G network like this. So it can be operated uh, more frequently. Okay, and uh, uh, by using our virtualization station, we can also support multiple uh, virtualization uh, virtual machine running simultaneously. So uh, you will see uh, the performance is quite good. Uh, the virtualization is still low, and uh, if you uh, the NAS can install more uh, memory, then the virtual machine uh, can be uh, executed uh, more. And uh, we have a very important thing is uh, uh, we can import and export the virtual machine from VMware and to VMware. Oh. So the OVA, OVF, and uh, also VMX file formats is supported. And uh, just like you see, the NAS, uh, we support virtualization station as uh, at least four uh, gigabit Ethernet. Uh, we allocate and reserve a uh, single uh, the gig, uh, gigabit Ethernet as a local network for the NAS for management issue and uh, also for the uh, legacy NAS operations. So just like uh, because it's uh, uh, still a full function NAS, so we reserve one. And uh, those three uh, gigabit Ethernet can be used and uh, allocate for virtual machines. And the other important function is the essential function. Uh, whenever customer like to install something new, some new software in the virtual machine inside NAS, uh, the customer can take a essential first uh, before he installing the software. Then if uh, the customer don't like the software and not sure uh, how to remove it completely, then it just click re revert. Only few seconds, uh, the virtual machine will revert to the previous status. Yeah. So this is uh, the virtual station is a very uh, convenient and a very powerful uh, application on NAS, which makes NAS as a micro server to do uh, uh, server things and also uh, reduce the cost of uh, extra PCs. Thank you.